Hello, welcome back to Rory's Workshop. Uh, it's nice to see you back. I'm quite surprised that so many people have liked, commented and subscribed. Um, so we're carrying on from yesterday. Uh, we're going to tidy up the welds. And you can see I've just quickly been over these with the, uh, the old wire wheel. I'm going to tidy these up so they sort of fit in the hole a bit better. Um, and tidy this one up. I need to remove most of this weld here on the back. As this is, um, the nut's going to be hidden inside the chassis and to make the top end uh, level because the chassis I don't know what happened there with my dodgy filming but anyway I'll carry on from where I left off uh, so the chassis isn't perfectly flat all the way it does drop down uh, round about here so I want the, everything to be nice and level and flush so that's why I've got that packing piece in there uh, plan is today we we'll have to open out these holes uh, a little bit more so the nuts sit perfectly in them nice and flat uh, I'm going to clean up uh, all the points where we're going to obviously weld to and then bolt the seat frame uh, onto the onto the frame that I've made into the chassis to mark out where we're going to be welding, clean it all up uh, and then obviously tack it in, make sure it's all still fine and then we'll go hopefully for the old rebuild. There's something satisfying about drilling into a chassis with a cone drill, it does such a good job but uh, you can see now I'm just slowly opening the hole to uh, to accept the nut through it. Just watch this. If I can do it one angle down, try it. or not. <laughs> but it does do such a great job, and it is slowly, bit by bit, making the hole bigger. Obviously, I don't want to go too big because it's uh, a big hole in the chassis. I am going to fill it with uh, rust preventive. I've got a little nozzle thing that will go in there. I'll shoot it up the top and down the bottom um, to give it extra protection on the inside. It's been kept dry, so I'm not um, I'm not worried about trapping any moisture. Um, in there. Well here's an idea of how it's going to look when it's finished. Obviously I've just bolted everything together just to make sure my holes are in the right place and so are the nuts. And it actually fits, it's still in the chassis and it is nice and strong, it's not going anywhere. Um, and I haven't even welded it in yet. But there we go, I'm quite happy with it. We'll um, do a few more checks. Everything's nice and flush and it sits quite well against the chassis. So I'm going to clear the chassis at this end, I've already marked it. And now I know roughly where to clean up to. Uh, and then it's uh, time to go and get the Schultz gun. And that's not a swear word, it's just what it's called. So what I was just saying about the Schultz gun, naturally, me being me, I've forgotten it. But hey, it's a good excuse. We'll go out in the Morris instead. Uh. Right. Oh. Oh, I'm filming. So many people have told me in the past that old cars are unreliable. I haven't started this in uh, over a week. But we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. Watch this. Old cars are unreliable. Utter horse crap. Anyway, let's, let's go. So, a little bit of a road trip. I've had to uh, run out to uh, see Taff Hughes at Hughes Precision Engineering um, to get some bushes made. Sadly, um, I can't make them as my lathe seems to have stopped working. Uh, thankfully, you can do them really quickly, and I know they'll be right first time. So it gives me a good excuse to head into town, grab a couple of bolts that I need, um, and just some other odds and sods for the workshop. But uh, we'll be back here a little bit later on, and hopefully I'll show you around his workshop a little bit. So bit more of a road trip. I've been to Premier Power and got some new belts for our drill as I snapped on the other day. More good now. Uh, on my road trip I've come out to Wenton Fasteners because I, I miscalculated on the bolt and the spaces are a bit bigger than what I anticipated but hey, got new bolts. They have them all on the shelf with the uh, spring lock washers. Here's their van and if you're in the Oval do come down and, uh, and see them because they have practically every type of fastener on the shelf, and they're really nice people. I uh, thoroughly enjoy coming down, and it's good tea and coffee as well, just to let you know. Anyway, I'm going to head back up to the uh, machine shop, collect the bushes, hopefully, and then weld them in, and hopefully get this finished maybe today or tomorrow. We'll see. Ah, me again. Got me bushes made. Look at them. Perfect. We'll go and uh, weld them in. Thanks again to Taff. Always an absolute pleasure working with him, and he's bloody hilarious. 
Um, I'm turning around so quick. I've only been probably less than an hour. Um, but no, thanks again, Taff. And uh, let's go and throw them in, shall we? So it's been a while since I've uh, done an update video. I keep forgetting about doing these things, but we'll get there. Um, so I'll show you what I've done. Woo! Uh, it's welded in, so it's welded in both sides now. Uh, very happy with the welding. It seems to have penetrated really well. Um, woof! And then down the sides as well. Oh, look at that. Uh, here's the bushes that a taff made for me. Uh, these are 32 mil at the back and then 18 up at the front. Um, just because the chassis obviously drops away, like I said earlier, uh, I've sort of did done three, three sort of okay welds on there. Well, I'm very happy with the welding. I've just done three sort of big tacks really because they're not structural really. They're just there to lift the seat up. Um, I'm about to spray it all, get it all in primer. We'll get the floor back in, make sure the holes line up in the floor, get the seat bolted down in it, and then we'll start to uh, finish off. Hopefully, I'd like to be finished today. We will, uh, we will see, won't we? So I've made the decision to uh, not to rush and not to crack on really tonight, just because I need the paint to dry and I need it to dry pretty well. Um, I've added two coats of primer to it, um, and I'm very happy with that. And I've just applied the first coat of uh, satin, courtesy of uh, Halford. I've used this in the past, and I've gotten really well with it. Really good results, um, and it does uh, does work quite well. So I'm going to leave it here because I, I, I like this paint to dry properly. And then tomorrow, um, practically all I need to do is throw the cross members in, put the seat, uh, sorry, not the seat, put the floor back in properly. I've got bolts and everything ready. And then we'll put the seat back together, make it as one piece. And then hopefully this time tomorrow we'll have a fully working seat. Um, and then I can probably show you a bit more. You know, we, we've got the old lathe in the corner. Um, probably the sketchiest piece of equipment that I own, but um, we'll go through and just show you a bit more what what we're going to be doing here. Um, so that's about it. Uh, hope you're all all right. Just stay safe. Um, drink plenty of Corona because it's it's good for your viruses apparently. You know. Um, yeah, that's about it really. We'll see you in the future, no doubt. Do check back in. See you later. Back on before you go, sorry I almost forgot, when you're welding, and if you're just doing a couple of tacks here and there, do wear gloves, or at least take your wedding ring off. I forgot, and I've got a bit of weld flash on there. It's not too bad, I'll uh, knock it off with a file and polish it back up so she won't know. But, um, yeah, do take your rings off. <laughs>